I seek refuge in Allah from Satan, the cursed outcast. In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Alif, Lam, Meem. Allah, none has the right to be worshipped except Him, the ever-living, all-sustaining. He has sent down to you the book in truth, confirming what came before it. And he sent down the Torah and the Gospel previously as guidance for people. And he sent down the criterion between right and wrong. But those who reject the verses of Allah will suffer a severe punishment. And Allah is almighty, capable of retribution. Indeed, there is nothing hidden from Allah on earth or in the heaven. It is he who shapes you in the wombs as he wills. None has the right to be worshipped except him, the almighty, the All-Wise. It is He who has sent down to you the book. In it are definite verses, which are the foundation of the book, while others are ambiguous. Those with deviant hearts follow the ambiguous verses, seeking discord and seeking their false interpretation. But no one knows their true interpretation except Allah. And those who are well grounded in knowledge say, We believe in it. It is all from our Lord. None will take heed except people of understanding. Our Lord, do not let our hearts deviate after you have guided us, and grant us your mercy, for you are the munificent bestower. Our Lord, you will surely gather all people for a day about which there is no doubt, for Allah does not break his promise. Those who disbelieve, neither their wealth nor their children will avail them at all against Allah. It is they who are the fuel of the fire. Their case is like that of the people of Pharaoh and those before them. They all rejected our signs, so Allah sees them for their sins, for Allah is severe in punishment. Say to those who disbelieve, you will soon be defeated and gathered into hell. What a terrible resting place. There has been a sign for you in the two groups who confronted each other, one fighting for the cause of Allah and the other disbelievers. They saw them with their own eyes, twice their number. But Allah strengthens with his help whom he wills. There is a lesson in this for those who have insight. The love of desirable things has been made appealing to people, such as women, children, hoarded heaps of gold and silver, branded fine horses, livestock and tilled land. These are the pleasures of the life of this world, but with Allah is the best place of return. Say, shall I inform you of what is better than these? For those who fear Allah are gardens with their Lord, under which rivers flow, abiding therein forever, with pure spouses and pleasure from Allah, and Allah is all-seeing of his slaves. Those who say, our Lord, we believe, so forgive us our sins and protect us from the punishment of the fire. Those who are patient, truthful, devout, charitable, and who seek forgiveness before dawn. Allah testifies that none has the right to be worshipped except Him, as do the angels and people of knowledge. He is the upholder of justice. None has the right to be worshipped except Him, the Almighty, the All-Wise. The true religion with Allah is Islam. Those who were given the scripture did not dispute except after the knowledge had come to them out of mutual envy and rivalry. But whoever rejects the verses of Allah then Allah is swift in reckoning. Then, if they argue with you, say, I have submitted myself to Allah, and so have those who follow me. And say to those who were given the scripture, and to the illiterate, Have you submitted yourselves? If they do, then they are rightly guided. But if they turn away, your duty is only to convey the message, and Allah is all-seeing of his slaves. Those who reject the verses of Allah kill the prophets unjustly, and kill those who enjoin justice among people, so give them tidings of a painful punishment. They are those whose deeds have become worthless in this world and in the hereafter, and they will have no helpers. Have you not considered those who were given a portion of the scripture? They are invited to the book of Allah to judge between them. Then a group of them turns away in aversion. This is because they say, the fire will never touch us except for a few days. They have been deluded in their religion by that which they used to fabricate. But how terrible will it be when we gather them together 
on a day about which there is no doubt, and each soul will be fully recompensed for what it has earned, and none will be wronged. Say, O Allah, Lord of the Dominion, you give dominion to whom you will, and take it away from whom you will. You honor whom you will, and humiliate whom you will. All good is in your hand. You are most capable of all things. You cause the night to enter into the day, and cause the day to enter into the night. You bring the living out of the dead, and bring the dead out of the living. And you give provision to whom you will without measure. Let not the believers take disbelievers as allies instead of believers, for whoever does so has nothing to do with Allah at all, except as a protective measure to save yourself from them. And Allah warns you of Himself, and to Allah is the final return. Say, whether you conceal what is in your hearts or reveal it, Allah knows it. He knows all that is in the heaven and all that is on earth, and Allah is most capable of all things. On the day when every soul will find itself faced with whatever good it has done and whatever evil it has done, it will wish that there were a great distance between it and its evil. And Allah warns you of Himself, and Allah is all gracious to His slaves. Say, if you love Allah, then follow me. Allah will love you and forgive you your sins, for Allah is all forgiving, most merciful. Say, obey Allah and the Messenger, but if they turn away, then Allah does not like the disbelievers. Allah chose Adam and Noah, the family of Abraham and the family of Imran, above all people. They were descendants of one another, and Allah is all hearing, all knowing. Remember when the wife of Imran said, My Lord, I dedicate to you what is in my womb, so accept it from me, for you are the all hearing, the all knowing. When she gave birth, she said, My Lord, I have given birth to a female child, and Allah knew best what she had given birth to. And the male is not like the female. I have named her Mary, and I seek refuge with you for her and her offspring from Satan, the accursed. Her Lord graciously accepted her and caused her to grow in a good manner, and entrusted her to the care of Zachariah. Every time Zachariah entered her prayer chamber, he found with her provision. He said, O oh Mary, where did this come from? She said, It is from Allah, for Allah provides for whom he wills without measure. Thereupon Zachariah prayed to his Lord, saying, My Lord, grant me by your grace virtuous offspring, for you are the all-hearer of prayers. The angels called out to him while he was standing in the chamber praying, Allah gives you glad tidings of John, who will believe in the word of Allah and will be honorable, abstinent from women and a prophet from among the righteous. He said, My Lord, how can I have a son when I have reached old age and my wife is barren? He said, Thus Allah does what he wills. He said, My Lord, give me a sign. He said, Your sign is that you will not speak to people for three days except by gestures. And remember your Lord often and glorify him in the evening and in the morning. And remember when the angel said, O oh Mary, Allah has chosen you, purified you, and chosen you over all women. O oh Mary, worship your Lord devoutly, prostrate yourself, and bow down with those who bow down. This is from the stories of the unseen that we reveal to you, O Prophet. You were not with them when they cast lots as to which of them should take guardianship of Mary, nor were you with them when they disputed about it. Remember when the angel said, O oh Mary, Allah gives you glad tidings of a word from him whose name will be the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, honorable in this world and in the hereafter, and one of those near to Allah. He will speak to people in the cradle and in maturity, and he will be one of the righteous. She said, My Lord, how can I have a child when no man has ever touched me? He said, Thus Allah creates what he wills. When he decrees something, he only says to it, Be, and it is. And he will teach him writing and wisdom, the Torah and the Gospel, and will send him as a messenger to the children of Israel. I have come to you with a sign from your Lord that I make for you from clay the figure of a bird. Then breathe into it, and it will become a bird by Allah's permission. And I heal the blind and the leper, and bring the dead to life by Allah's permission. And I inform you of what you eat and what you store in your houses. 
there is a sign in this for you if you are believers. And I have come confirming the Torah that came before me and to make lawful to you some of what was forbidden to you. And I have come to you with a sign from your Lord. So fear Allah and obey me. Indeed, Allah is my Lord and your Lord. So worship him. This is the straight path. When Jesus sensed disbelief from them, he said, Who are my helpers in the cause of Allah? The disciples said, We are the helpers of Allah. We believe in Allah. So bear witness that we are Muslims. Our Lord, we believe in what you have sent down and we follow the messenger. So count us among those who bear witness to the truth. And the disbelievers devised a plan. But Allah also made a plan. And Allah is the best of planners. And remember when Allah said, O oh Jesus, I will take you and raise you up to myself and deliver you from those who disbelieve and make those who follow you above those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection. Then you will all return to me and I will judge between you concerning that over which you differed. As for those who disbelieve, I will punish them severely in this world and the hereafter and they will have no helpers. As for those who believe and do righteous deeds, he will give them their rewards in full, and Allah does not like the wrongdoers. This is what we recite to you of the verses and the wise reminder. The similitude of Jesus before Allah is like that of Adam. He created him from dust, then said to him, Be, and he was. This is the truth from your Lord, so do not be of those who doubt. Whoever disputes with you concerning him, Jesus, after the knowledge has come to you, then say, Come, let us call our sons and your sons, our women and your women, ourselves and yourselves, then invoke the curse of Allah upon the liars. Indeed, this is the true narrative, and none has the right to be worshipped except Allah, and Allah is the Almighty, the All-Wise. If they turn away, then Allah is all-knowing of those who spread corruption. Say, O people of the book, come to a common term between us and you, that we worship none but Allah and associate no partners with him, and that we do not take one another as lords besides Allah. But if they turn away, say, bear witness that we are Muslims submitting to Allah. O people of the book, why do you dispute about Abraham while the Torah and the Gospel were not sent but after him? Do you not understand? Here you are. You are those who disputed about that of which you have some knowledge. Then why do you dispute about that of which you have no knowledge? Allah knows and you do not know. Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian, but he was a monotheist Muslim and he was not one of the polytheists. The closest people to Abraham are those who followed him and this prophet and those who believe. And Allah is the guardian of the believers. A faction of the people of the book wishes to mislead you, believers. They do not mislead except themselves, but they do not realize. O people of the book, why do you disbelieve in the verses of Allah while you testify to their truth? O people of the book, why do you mix the truth with falsehood and conceal the truth knowingly? A faction of the people of the book say, Believe in what has been sent down to the believers in the morning and reject it in the evening so that they may return from their faith. And do not believe in anyone except those who follow your religion. Say, The guidance is the guidance of Allah. They say, Lest someone may be given similar to what you have been given or argue with you before your Lord. Say, all bounty is in the hand of Allah. He grants it to whom he wills, and Allah is all-encompassing, all-knowing. He chooses for his mercy whom he wills, for Allah is the possessor of great bounty. And among the people of the book are some who, if you entrust with a heap of gold, will return it to you. Yet there are others who, if you entrust with a single coin of gold, will not return it to you unless you keep standing over them. This is because they say, we are under no obligation towards the Gentiles, and they tell lies about Allah knowingly. But those who fulfill their covenant and fear Allah, surely Allah loves those who fear Him. Those who trade the covenant of Allah and their oaths for a small price, they will have no share in the hereafter. Allah will neither speak to them, nor look at them on the day of resurrection, nor will He purify them, and for them there will be a painful punishment.
And there are some among them who alter the scripture with their tongues, so that you may think it is part of the scripture, while it is not part of the scripture. And they say, it is from Allah, while it is not from Allah, and they tell lies about Allah knowingly. It is not for a human being whom Allah has given the scripture, wisdom, and prophethood to say to the people, be my worshippers instead of Allah. Rather, he would say, be devoted servants of your Lord, because of your teaching of the scripture and because of your study thereof. Nor would he order you to take angels and prophets as lords. Would he order you to disbelieve after you have submitted to Allah as Muslims? And remember when Allah took the covenant of the prophets, saying, After I have given you the book and wisdom, if there comes to you a messenger confirming what is with you, then you must believe in him and support him. Allah said, Do you affirm this covenant and accept this commitment? They said, Yes, we do. He said, Then bear witness, and I am with you among the witnesses. Whoever turns away after this, it is they who are the rebellious. Do they seek other than the religion of Allah, whereas to him submit all those in the heavens and on earth willingly or unwilling, and to him they will return? Say, We believe in Allah and what has been sent down to us, and what was sent down to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, and his descendants, and what was given to Moses, Jesus, and other prophets from their Lord. We make no distinction between any of them, and to him we submit. Anyone who seeks a religion other than Islam, never will it be accepted from him, and in the hereafter he will be among the losers. How would Allah guide a people who disbelieved after having believed and testified that the messenger was true and the clear signs had come to them? For Allah does not guide the wrongdoing people. The punishment of such people is that they are cursed by Allah, the angels and all mankind. They will abide therein forever. Their punishment will neither be lightened nor will they be given respite. Except those who repent after that and mend their ways, for Allah is all-forgiving, most merciful. But those who disbelieve after having believed and increase in disbelief, never will their repentance be accepted. It is they who have gone astray. Those who disbelieve and die as disbelievers, even an earth full of gold will never be accepted from any of them, if offered as ransom. For such people, there will be a painful punishment and they will have no helpers. You will never attain righteousness until you spend in charity from what you love. Whatever you spend, Allah is all-knowing of it. All food was permissible for the children of Israel, except what Israel, Jacob, made impermissible for himself before the Torah was sent down. Say, bring the Torah and recite it if you are truthful. Whoever fabricates lies upon Allah after that, it is they who are the wrongdoers. Say, Allah has spoken the truth, so follow the religion of Abraham exclusively devoted to Allah, and he was not one of the polytheists. The first house of worship established for mankind was the one at Bakka, Mecca, full of blessings and guidance for the worlds. In it are clear signs, such as the standing place of Abraham. Whoever enters it will be safe. Pilgrimage to the house is a duty owed to Allah upon all people who are able to make their way to it. Whoever disbelieves, then Allah is in no need for the worlds. Say, O people of the book, why do you reject the verses of Allah when Allah is witness to all what you do? Say, O people of the book, why do you hinder the believers from the way of Allah, trying to make it crooked when you are witnesses to its truth? But Allah is not unaware of what you do. O oh, you who believe, if you obey a group of those who were given the scripture, they will turn you back as disbelievers after your belief. How can you disbelieve while Allah's verses are being recited to you and his messenger is in your midst? Whoever holds fast to Allah is certainly guided to the straight path. O oh, you who believe, fear Allah as he should be feared and do not die except as Muslims. And hold fast to the rope of Allah altogether and do not be divided. Remember the favor of Allah upon you when you were enemies, and he reconciled your hearts, making you brethren by his grace. And you were on the brink of a fiery pit, and he delivered you from it. This is how Allah makes his verses clear to you, so that you may be guided. Let there be a group from among you who call to goodness, enjoining what is right and forbidding what is wrong. 
It is they who are successful. Do not be like those who became divided and differed after the clear proofs had come to them, and for them there will be a great punishment. On the day when some faces will turn bright, while other faces will turn dark. As for those whose faces turn dark, they will be told, Did you disbelieve after having believed? Taste the punishment for your disbelief. As for those whose faces turn bright, they will be in Allah's mercy. They will abide therein forever. These are the verses of Allah. We recite them to you in truth. Allah does not want injustice to the worlds. To Allah belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is on earth, and to Allah will return all matters. You are the best nation ever raised for mankind. You enjoin what is right and forbid what is wrong, and believe in Allah. If the people of the book had believed, it would have been better for them. Some of them are believers, but most of them are rebellious. They can never harm you except some annoyance, but if they fight you, they will turn their backs, then they will not be helped. They are afflicted with humiliation wherever they may be, unless they are protected by a covenant from Allah or a treaty from the people. They have incurred Allah's wrath and are afflicted with destitution. That is because they disbelieved in Allah's verses and killed the prophets unjustly. That is because of their disobedience and transgression. Yet all are not alike. There are some among the people of the book who are upright. They recite the verses of Allah during the night and they prostrate. They believe in Allah and the last day, enjoin what is right and forbid what is wrong, and hasten in doing good deeds. They are among the righteous. Whatever good they do, their reward will never be denied, for Allah is all-knowing of those who are righteous. Those who disbelieve, neither their wealth nor their children will ever avail them against Allah. They are people of the fire. They will abide therein forever. The similitude of what they spend in the life of this world is like that of a frosty wind that strikes and destroys the harvest of a people who have wronged themselves. It is not Allah who wronged them, but they wronged themselves. O you who believe, do not take as close friends those from other than yourselves. They spare no effort to ruin you. They wish to see you suffer. Hatred has appeared from their mouths, but what their hearts conceal is even greater. We have made the verses clear to you, if only you understand. O you believers, you are those who love them, but they do not love you, even though you believe in all the scriptures. When they meet you, they say, we believe. But when they are alone, they bite their fingertips against you in rage. Say, may you die in your rage. Allah is all-knowing of what is in the hearts. If something good happens to you, it grieves them. But if adversity befalls you, they rejoice at it. But if you keep patient and fear Allah, their schemes will not harm you in the least, for Allah encompasses all what they do. And remember when you left your home in the morning to position the believers for the battle of Uhud, and Allah is all-hearing, all-knowing. When two parties from among you were about to lose courage, but Allah was their protector, let the believers put their trust in Allah. Allah had helped you at Badr when you were weak, then fear Allah so that you may be grateful. Remember when you said to the believers, Will it not suffice you that your Lord will help you by sending down three thousand angels? Yes, if you stay patient and fear Allah, and the enemy should launch a surprise attack on you, your Lord will help you with five thousand marked angels. Allah ordained this only as glad tidings for you, and to reassure your hearts thereby, victory only comes from Allah, the Almighty, the All-Wise in order to destroy a section of the disbelievers or disgrace them, so they may turn back utterly disappointed. It is not for you, O Prophet, to decide whether he will accept their repentance or punish them, for they are wrongdoers. To Allah belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is on earth. He forgives whom he wills and he punishes whom he wills, and Allah is all-forgiving, most merciful. O you who believe, do not consume usury, doubled and multiplied, and fear Allah so that you may succeed, and fear the fire prepared for the disbelievers, and obey Allah and the Messenger so that you may be given mercy, and hasten towards forgiveness from your Lord, and a paradise as wide as the heavens and earth prepared for the righteous. Those who spend in times of prosperity and adversity and who restrain their anger and pardon people, for Allah loves those who do good. 
and those who, when they commit a shameful act or wrong themselves, remember Allah and seek forgiveness for their sins. Who can forgive sins except Allah, and they do not persist in what they did knowingly? Their reward is forgiveness from their Lord, and gardens under which rivers flow, abiding therein forever. How excellent is the reward of those who do righteous deeds! There were nations that passed before you, so travel through the land and see how was the end of the deniers. This is an exhortation for mankind, a guidance, an admonition for the righteous. Do not lose heart nor grieve, for you have the upper hand, if you are truly believers. If you have suffered a blow at Uhud, they too have suffered a blow like it at Badr. We alternate among people these days, so that Allah may reveal the believers and may choose martyrs from among you, and Allah does not like the wrongdoers, and so that he may purify the believers and annihilate the disbelievers. Do you think that you would enter paradise when Allah has not yet seen those of you who struggled in his way and those who remained patient? You did wish for martyrdom before facing it, and now you have seen it with your own eyes. Muhammad is no more than a messenger. There were messengers who passed away before him. If he dies or is killed, will you turn back on your heels? Anyone who turns back on his heels will not harm Allah in the least, but Allah will reward those who are grateful. No soul can die except with Allah's permission at a destined time. Whoever seeks the reward of this world, we will give him thereof. And whoever seeks the reward of the hereafter, we will give him thereof. And we will reward those who are grateful. Imagine how many prophets along with the devout men fought, but they did not lose heart because of what they suffered in the way of Allah. Nor did they weaken or surrender. And Allah loves those who are patient. All they said was, Our Lord, forgive us our sins and our excess in our affairs and make firm our feet and give us victory against the disbelieving people. So Allah gave them the reward of this world and the best reward of the hereafter. For Allah loves those who do good. O oh, you who believe, if you obey those who disbelieve, they will turn you back on your heels and thus you will return as losers. But Allah is your protector and he is the best of helpers. We will cast dread into the hearts of those who disbelieve because they associated partners with Allah for which he has not sent down any authority. Their refuge will be the fire. How terrible is the abode of the wrongdoers. Indeed, Allah has fulfilled his promise to you when you were slaying them by his permission until you lost courage and disputed over the command and disobeyed after he had shown you what you liked, victory. Among you are some who seek this world and some who seek the hereafter. He then prevented you from defeating them, so that he may test you. But he pardoned you, for Allah is most gracious to the believers. Remember, when you were fleeing, without even casting a glance at anyone, and the messenger was calling you back, you were then given distress upon distress, so that you should not grieve for what you missed or for what you suffered, for Allah is all aware of what you do. Then he sent down tranquility upon you after distress, a slumber overtaking a group of you, while another group cared only about themselves, having false thoughts about Allah, the untrue thoughts of ignorance, saying, Do we have any say in the matter? Say, All matters belong to Allah. They conceal in their hearts what they do not reveal to you. They say, If we had any say in the matter, None of us would have been killed here. Say, even if you had been in your homes, those among you who were destined to be killed would have come out of their killing places. But Allah did this so that he may test your inner thoughts and distinguish what is in your hearts. For Allah is all-knowing of what is in the hearts. Those of you who fled on the day when the two armies met at Uhud, it was Satan who made them slip due to some of their misdeeds. But Allah has pardoned them, for Allah is all-forgiving, most forbearing. O you who believe, do not be like those who disbelieved and said about their brothers who traveled through the land or engaged in battle. If they had stayed with us, they would not have died or been killed. Allah makes that a cause of distress in their hearts. It is Allah who gives life and causes death, and Allah is all-seeing of what you do. If you are killed in the way of Allah or die, then forgiveness and mercy from Allah are far better than what they accumulate. If you die or are martyred, it is unto Allah that you will be gathered. 
It is by Allah's mercy that you, O Prophet, became lenient to them. If you had been harsh and hard-hearted, they would have dispersed from you. So pardon them, seek forgiveness for them, and consult them in the important matters. But once you have made a decision, put your trust in Allah, for Allah loves those who put their trust in Him. If Allah helps you, none can overcome you. But if He forsakes you, who is there to help you after Him? In Allah, let the believers put their trust. It is not for a prophet to misappropriate the spoils of war. Whoever misappropriates will carry it with him on the day of resurrection. Then every soul will be paid in full for what it has earned, and none will be wronged. Is the one who seeks Allah's pleasure like someone who incurs Allah's wrath and whose abode is hell? What a terrible destination! They are of various ranks with Allah, and Allah is all-seeing of what they do. Allah has conferred favor on the believers when He sent them a messenger from among themselves, reciting to them His verses, purifying them, and teaching them the book and wisdom, although before that they were clearly misguided. How is it that when you suffered a calamity at Uhud, while you had inflicted twice as much upon them at Badr, you said, how could this happen? Say, you brought this to yourselves. Indeed, Allah is most capable of all things. What you suffered on the day of Uhud, when the two armies met, was by Allah's permission, so that he may distinguish the true believers. And in order to make known those who are hypocrites, they were told, come forward, fight in the way of Allah, or at least defend. They said, if we had known there was fighting, we would have certainly followed you. That day they were nearer to disbelief than faith, saying with their mouths what was not in their hearts. But Allah is all-knowing of what they conceal. Those who stayed behind said about their brothers, if they had obeyed us, they would not have been killed at Uhud. Say, then avert death from yourselves if you are truthful. Never think of those who are killed in Allah's way as dead. Rather, they are alive with their Lord, receiving provision rejoicing in what Allah has given them of his bounty and delighted for those who have yet to join them, of those whom they left behind, that they will have no fear, nor will they grieve. They rejoice at the favors and bounties of Allah and that Allah does not let the reward of the believers be lost. Those who responded to Allah and the Messenger after they were struck with injury, for those who did good among them and feared Allah is a great reward. Those to whom the people said, Indeed, the people have gathered against you, so fear them. But it only increased them in faith. And they said, Allah is sufficient for us, and he is the best protector. They then returned with grace and bounty from Allah, having suffered no harm. They pursued Allah's pleasure, and Allah is the possessor of great bounty. It is Satan who frightens you through his allies. Do not fear them, but fear me, if you are true believers. Do not let those who hasten to disbelief grieve you. They can never harm Allah in the least. It is Allah's will that they will have no share in the hereafter, and for them there will be a great punishment. Those who purchase disbelief in exchange for faith can never harm Allah in the least, and for them there will be a painful punishment. Those who disbelieve should not think that whatever respite we give them is good for them. We only give them respite so that they may increase in sin, and for them there will be a disgracing punishment. Allah would not leave the believers in the state you are in until he distinguishes the evil from the good, nor would Allah reveal to you believers the unseen. But Allah chooses from his messengers whom he wills, so believe in Allah and his messengers. If you believe and fear Allah, you will have a great reward. Those who greedily withhold what Allah has given them of his grace should not think that it is good for them, rather it is bad for them. Their necks will be chained by what they greedily withheld on the day of resurrection. To Allah belongs the inheritance of the heavens and earth, and Allah is all aware of what you do. Allah has heard the words of those who said, Allah is poor and we are rich. We will write down what they said and their killing of the prophets unjustly. And we will say, taste the punishment of the burning fire. That is because of what your hands have sent forth, for Allah is not unjust to his slaves. They said, Allah has commanded us not to believe in any messenger until he brings us an offering consumed by the fire. Say, there came to you messengers before me with clear proofs and with what you demanded. Then why did you kill them if you are truthful? Then if they reject you, O Prophet, 
There were messengers who were rejected before you, who came with clear proofs, written ordinances, Psalms of David, and the enlightening scripture. Every soul will taste death, and you will be paid your reward in full on the day of resurrection. Whoever is spared from the fire and admitted into paradise has truly won, for the life of this world is nothing but an illusory pleasure. You will certainly be tested in your wealth and in yourselves, and you will certainly hear from those who were given the scripture before you, and from those who associate partners with Allah, much abusive words. But if you observe patience and fear Allah, that is a matter of firm resolve. And remember when Allah took a covenant from those who were given the scripture, that you should make it clear to people and not conceal it. But they cast it behind their backs and sold it for a small price. How terrible is their deal! Do not think of those who are delighted with their misdeeds and love to be praised for what they have not done. So do not think that they will be safe from the punishment, and for them there will be a painful punishment. To Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is most capable of all things. Indeed, in the creation of the heavens and earth, and the alternation of the night and day, are signs for people of understanding. Those who remember Allah while standing, sitting, and lying on their sides, and reflect upon the creation of the heavens and earth, saying, Our Lord, you have not created all this in vain. Glory be to you. Protect us from the punishment of the fire. Our Lord, whoever you cause to enter the fire, you have surely disgraced him, and the wrongdoers will have no helpers. Our Lord, we have heard the caller to faith, calling, Believe in your Lord. So we believed, our Lord, forgive us our sins, expiate our misdeeds, and cause us to die among the righteous. Our Lord, give us what you have promised us through your messengers, and do not disgrace us on the day of resurrection, for you never break your promise. Their Lord responded to them, I will never waste the deeds of any doer among you, male or female. You are the same in reward. Those who migrated and were driven out of their homes and suffered for my sake, and fought and were killed, I will surely expiate their sins and admit them into gardens under which rivers flow. A reward from Allah, with Allah is the best reward. Do not be deceived by the disbelievers' prosperity in the land. It is a brief enjoyment, then hell will be their abode. What a terrible resting place! But for those who fear their Lord will be gardens under which rivers flow, abiding therein forever, a welcoming gift from Allah, and what is with Allah is best for the righteous. There are some among the people of the book who believe in Allah and what has been sent down to you and what was sent down to them, humbling themselves before Allah. They do not sell Allah's verses for a small price. It is they who will have their reward with their Lord. Indeed, Allah is swift in reckoning. O oh, you who believe, be patient and endure. Stand on guard and fear Allah, so that you may be successful.